And so um, it pushes it into the cloud, and, um, and we call it SAIL, the Seafood Analytics Informational Library. So it stores all of your electronic data in the cloud for historical use or for predictive purposes. And so you can see um, this graph right here. You can, you can drill down. You can click on one of the data points. And then it will open that data set that that data point is associated with. And so on this one, you can see that supplier is goofy. It's a boat. And you can close it. And that was the second one there. And so it had, it blew the limit. You know, it, it exceeded the limit. So something was out of control. So then on the right-hand side, you can also click on the other metrics, such as fat or protein. And you can overlay these things to see how stuff changes. And if you, if you scroll down, or up, or whatever we call it, um, we have quality by supplier. So then we can select Goofy again. And what happened with Goofy is they were holding their fish in refrigerated seawater too long, for about 20 hours too long. Then they corrected what was going on. And then the rest of the seven or 10 offloads were within compliance. So applying quality control processes to you know, quality measurements in seafood plants. And then you see it dropped down, but it dropped down because of um, because the fish were spawning. And so you would naturally see quality change. And then it gives you a running average of supplier comparisons. And so these are, you can click on one of them and it will give you all the offloads that Goofy ever did and combine it all into one chart. And then the first thing, if you reject an order or you think you have a problem with it, the, the next thing you're gonna say is, what was the sample size? You know, and you don't want somebody to say three, you know, and say, oh my God, I just rejected you know, 50,000 pounds of fish based off of three. So you can, we have an instantaneous in-row count. So you can like see your sample sizes on how many, how many measurements were taken. 